Hi. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys the front of the stroller. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about this. this is the double pet stroller from Pet Gear. Um, the, the riding compartment and the canopy for sure are the best features. Um, it's very roomy. It comes with this awesome bolster pillow that's almost like a dog bed. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, you can also order extras or replacements. I've put a blanket in there just to make it a little cozier for the girls. Um, and I love, you know, you kind of have this panoramic as they advertise and easy to close. Um, canopy, uh, perfect for our Georgia sun. You know, there's enough they can see out both up here as well as down here um, and on the sides it, you know it's pretty nice plus that back um, but you know they can still um, you know be protected from the sun and bugs or whatever might be happening um, and it's very easy to close it's actually better than um, we have a larger pet gear stroller um, the closing feature is much better on this than the other one um, the thing that I really dislike, though, about this stroller, the wheels are garbage, especially for what they're asking. <laughs> the Dogger is a far superior built um, stroller, and that's actually still my favorite. But since Phoebe's had an, an injury to her C7 and C8, um, I don't want her squished up against Edna when they ride together. Um, you know, I just don't want to take any chances, and it's a tight fit to have both of them in there. Um, Edna's about 18 pounds. Um, even when she's weighed less than this, she's just a bigger girl. Phoebe is smaller. She's right around 11. I know, we're <laughs> 11 and a half. Um, but they like this one. The, today we did a 45 minute ride, and um, this is first time Edna's actually cried. And it's because she's probably got a potty and wants to get out and hungry. Um, but they can snuggle together. It's very bed like. Edna can lay her head down here. Um, you know, it just, I think, is a more comfortable ride. And this is the first stroller I've had. This is, I have four strollers. Um, this is the first one Edna has not cried in while riding. Um, but the wheels are garbage. Uh, they're terrible. The front does lock. But, um, so when it's unlocked, obviously it's much easier to turn. But when you're riding with it unlocked, um, it is slightly wobbly and I knew this when I purchased it because other people complained it's not terrible um, but it, there you know it's definitely room for improvement and of course you know you don't have a tire pump um, it was advertised on Chewy as having a pump but it doesn't these are air ride tires I believe they're called um, but it would be nice if you had those kind of tires in a pump plus the shock absorbers that come with the dogger um, the other thing, design flaws, obviously this cup holder is sketch. You cannot adjust the handlebars, and I'm, I used to be 5'2", I think I'm 5'1 now, I've shrunk down. You cannot adjust the handlebar, which is ridiculous, because on my other pet gear you can. And it's actually a bigger stroller, so I don't know if that's just lazy design or what. Um, this pocket is great, I love it. This is awful, the snap is terrible. Um, it has a really roomy compartment, which I love, but the problem is, is when they're in there, if you need to get something out, you can't, because you have to, you know, lift this up, and obviously Phoebe doesn't like me lifting her fanny up, so that's a design flaw. Um, you know, in my perfect world, the ideal stroller for two dachshunds would be the wheels of a dogger with this particular riding compartment so maybe um dogger would consider maybe making a two-seater if you will yeah um yeah something just a little bit wider um that would be wonderful and i do like the canopy i like the canopy on the dogger too but here in the south honestly you know the girls can see me through the top um i know you're ready to get out um and so you know, that feature that you can flip it either way is not as important to me as it might be to some other consumers. But if I could have this canopy and this riding compartment with the wheels um, and access to my storage basket like the dogger and even the, um, the attachment that comes with the dogger for storage, I, I do like it. Um, you yeah, know, that would be wonderful. But anyway, they're ready to get out. <laughs> so I uh, just want to give you a quick review. This is our second ride and 
So we've done really well, but it's time for a potty break and maybe a snack. So we're going to close out. Um, I, I, it's not worth what they're asking for it. I did a pay in four. <laughs> um, so, you know, if pet gear, if they up the wheels and add some shocks and fix some of these design flaws I've pointed out, then yes. Um, but I really think Dogger is way ahead of them for sure as far as the wheels and those shock absorbers. Um, so, um, you know, it'd be interesting, you know, to kind of see how the future of dog strollers evolve. Um, so, Dogger, you know, we love you guys. You know we're big fans. If you're listening, you know, maybe y'all might consider um, a model. And I do love this color. It's called the New Pine Green. I don't know what the old one looked like, but it's kind of like a teal. Um, I like it a lot. So, anyway. All right. Well, we're saying goodbye for now. We hope you've enjoyed our little mini review of the Pet Gear Double Stroller.